Welcome to the Australia Post shipping plugin for WooCommerce. Hi, I'm Sean, and I'm one of the guys here at Extension Works. So today, I'm going to help you walk through the installation and activation of your new plugin. We'll also do a quick configuration. Following that, I'll assist you in testing for some rates. And then, I'm going to walk you through also some advanced settings, which will look at the unpackable items and how to manage your rates. And then last but not least, some of our frequently asked questions. Okay, so let's get going. I have a really basic installation of WordPress along with WooCommerce. One thing that I have done here though, under settings, I've set my base location. I set it to Australia. And this instance, I'll pick Victoria. Set my currency to Australian dollars. Click on save. Now next, I need to go and add my plugin. So head to plugins, add new, select upload, choose the file that you've already downloaded from us. In this instance, it's a WooCommerce Australia Post plugin. Click on install now. We want to activate the plugin. And now we're presented with some really important information. The Australia Post plugin is requiring an additional plugin from us. It's called the ExtensionWorks Framework plugin. All you have to do is click on the link, and this will go and grab the latest version off the internet for you. So once this is downloaded, click on Activate. Okay, now next, head over to the dashboard, Extension Works Licenses, and this is where you'll place your a license key that you just received from us. Now that you're activated, we'll head over to the next section. So now we've completed the installation and activation of our new plugin. Now we're going to do a quick configuration for our new plugin. So head to WooCommerce, Settings, we need to go to Shipping. But Before we do, as you can see, our plugin is actually telling us that we've got to put an origin postcode in. So that's one of the first things we'll go and head over to do. So click on Shipping, we we'll head to Australia Post, Okay, so this is a quick installation. So what I'm going to show you now, let's place a postcode in here. For instance, we'll put 3000. I'll choose some specific countries. Let's put in Australia for this example. But you can put as, as many or as little as you like. I'll leave the unpackable product settings the same, so we'll send them directly. We'll also leave the box packing the same as well. We'll select a few of these boxes also. We'll come back to these in just a moment. And now we'll also enable some of the custom ones. Again, I'll leave all of these on just for example. Okay, so that's now saved. We'll head over to the, a public site of our WordPress installation. We'll head over to our shop. Let's in a, add in a, ver, a small product for now. Let's view the cart. I'll move some of these for now. And let's put in, put in Victoria. Let's put in I'll take you guess, 3152. And there we go. We have some services available that the customer can select straight away. 
Now that we've done our basic configuration, let's get more advanced about setting up some parameters with inside our new plugin. I'll leave debug out of this conversation until later in the piece, but we'll certainly come back to it because it's very, very important. Handling fees and discount fees. This is something that we've uh, had in for a while. However, you can add in a fixed amount um, or a percentage and then apply it, if you like, to apply it to the value of the card at the very end. In this example, I'm going to leave them as, as nothing and unticked. The letter mail is only defined when we do select a particular item down here as a letter and also our product is defined as a letter. Must bear in mind though that each shipping service or carrier service in the world has certain restrictions and letters have a lot of restrictions in terms of weight and dimensions. So you certainly in this example you couldn't put um, a mailbox a mailing box number four as a letter based on the dimensions alone. The next item up to talk about is unpackable items. I would recommend to leave it set to send unpackable items directly. However, some people have also removed them um, or have terminated the calculation. You have three examples, oh, sorry, you have three settings to choose from there. The next item to dis discussion is let's choose our packing methods. Now packing methods we've got four to choose from. Now volume I would suggest unless you know what you're doing here I would not choose volume packing. Um, this volume packing is really good for people that have one or two items and pretty much understand the size and weight every single time. If you have multiple products and multiple shipping boxes uh, this would certainly not be um, a recommended uh, choice. Packing items individually will take each product that's in someone's cart and send that off individually so no box packing algorithm will be used to determine what the best way to fit those items in a box are. As I mentioned, the recommended solution for all our customers is to use box packing. And at the very end of this, in our frequently asked questions, I'll put a link in there so you can get a bit more of an understanding of how box packaging actually really works. And weight-based, again, similar to volume-based, but on its, but a little bit differently. Um, weight will only be used in its calculation, so no dimensions will be taken into consideration. Now these are all, following that, sorry, is, is the box settings. Now these are all predetermined box or predefined boxes, we usually call them here. And all of these have come from Australia Post already. So for instance, box one, which is a mailing box, we've already pre-populated the dimensions for you. And as you can see in this example, uh, there is no weight provided in these. What that means is you, um, we will attempt to pack as many items inside of that box before we falls over to another box. So there are weight restrictions, but however, um, in this example, we've not allowed any weight restrictions. The ones we have selected for, this, for the example I was using before is box number three and box number four, and also a couple of satchels. And right down the bottom here, we also have some envelopes ticked as envelopes. Um, I may may select a couple of those. However, I don't think my products will be small enough to fit into those. And certainly I have not selected them as being an envelope in, in this example. Okay, so now let's head down. Actually, let's, let's also add another custom box. So this would be a box that you generally would use in the office or in the warehouse that you ship with and uh, use all the time. Okay, so what I've done there is uh, it's a 10 by 10 by 10 box and 
the actual weight of the box I've said is one kilo and the maximum weight is 10 kilos. So that's 10 kilos of weight that can be added into that box before it, before the box packing solution decides to use a secondary box to pack it in. Always make sure if you want to use it to tick the box. And now below we'll talk about the shipping services. Down here we've taken all shipping available shipping services from Australia Post. I've selected them all. So this includes international as well. Some of them are letters. Um, you can customise the names of these. Generally people don't, but you may want to. Um, so in this example I'm not going to. Um, you also have the ability to adjust the prices manually on each service level. You can rearrange these also by dragging and dropping these. We can move this up or down. And this will be this will be reflected on the checkout page if that item or both those items are available for service. Further down here, actually I'll go back here and just explain a little bit more about how this service how these services work with these boxes. So this particular box that I have ready to ship will also then be run through our box packing service if being used and then given that we have certain services marked we'll then check against that to see if those services will work for that size box with that weight and only present those also. Now following down what do we do with the rates some people have asked us for only showing the highest or the cheapest rate. So you can select all, cheapest or highest. In this example, I'm going to show all. Um, in an ordering, um, again, very self-explanatory, fallback rate, um, I would generally change this to flat rate. Um, this is the name that will be shown up. So if no services are found from Australia Post, we will present the customer with a rate and this can be used as a fallback rate. Now if you leave it blank there will be nothing shown and generally a customer will be shown more of a customized message. But however I would recommend based on what your customers average spend for their shipping is, take an educated guess, put a number in there and that will always ensure that there is a rate given if there is no rates given directly from Australia Post that will pop one in there for the customer. So let's click Save. Okay, then that's saved. Let's see if that's changed on the front end here at all. So let's pick I'll add a medium size and a large size. We'll view the cart. And let's add a couple more just for fun here. Let's see what happens. Okay, and as you can see, the rates did change. And what's happened there is we've added some um, additional items into the cart and then our box packing is in assess what the best methods are going to be and then sent it across to the shipping API in Australia Post and the rates have been returned and now we're presented with a bunch of rates and service types for our customer. Okay, I'll head back to here for just a moment. Update cart. Now, the last last thing I wanted to show you in this video was debug. And what does debug do? So debug will provide us a lot of information about what is actually happening behind the scenes with our shipping plugin. So again, I'll refresh this page, and hopefully we'll see some debug information. Okay, 
So the first thing is it tells us how many products we're going to, we're going to prepare to pack. It gives it all the dimensions. Now we normalize all of the weight and as you can see here I left my products in inches it's actually converted it to centimeters and also from pounds to kilograms there's a lot of information as you can see here there's a lot of information here and it's given us some great feedback here on it hasn't been able to find a suitable container or a box in this instance for item number 20 and it's found the best container mailing box box 3 for items 22 and so we've been able to assess a rate or and as you can see here we're getting certain responses back from Australia Post because of the size but that's okay that's what we want to see so I wouldn't be too concerned about this but nonetheless if you are having difficulties that'd be something to have a look through and you can always come back to us and send us that debug information that's probably it for now Um, if you have any questions, you can always feel free to come back and chat to us at extensionworks.com or if you're looking for more information, you can he always head to help.extensionworks.com and log a support ticket that way. And finally, I'll provide links to our three most commonly asked questions, which are, why do my rates seem so high compared to my online pricing? Also, how do extension works go and pack my items? And last but not least, the most common one actually, really, is dimensions and weight must always be added to your products. Mm -hmm.